So guys, I just KO this that left and now I challenge you guys to subscribe and comment down below. Thanks. Welcome back guys, this is EBA 101 Boxing and we're going to talk about this fight that's going to come up in a year or so. And it's a little bit different. It's going to be Eddie Hall the Beast versus uh, Half Thor Beyonson the Mountain. You know, you might know at least the Mountain from Game of Thrones. This is going to be a little different since uh, Eddie Hall had, um, you know, lifted 500 kgs a couple years back and now recently Half Thor lifted 501 to break the record and now he holds it and I did a little parody in the beginning of the video hope you guys liked it um, but this is going to be different because they're not professional boxers so I'm not going to take this fight as serious or expect greatness from this but it's still entertaining to kind of just predict and watch and the most part, important part of this is that although I don't like them meaning um, like a lot of YouTubers or celebrities in boxing matches for the main event but still they carry a lot of in entertaining purposes as as they bring more casual fans to watch the sport and hopefully they stay and look and fall in love with boxing as well and and we need new fans all the time in boxing to keep it relevant right um so eddie hall is 6'3 uh 350 plus pounds and you know half door is six eight ish around the same weight and it's going to be interesting because a lot of people are complaining hey this is going to be like they're going to run out of steam real quick they're not have they don't have enough cardio for this type of of you know sport and that might be true but again we're not signing up them for like being professional boxers it's a one fight deal hopefully and hopefully they're able to squash the beef that they have that started in 2017 because before then uh they were able to uh, you know get along well and I think in Euro's uh, strongest man they were pumping each other up it was nice to see uh, and they're two of my favorite strongman competitors but then 2017 half uh, half Thor Bjornsson, uh complained about some reps not being counted and that cost him the you know world strongest man Eddie Hall's like no you know you didn't do it right or at least they didn't count it for you but it minimized his uh, accomplishment right or at least he felt in that way so and then half Thor completes the the 501 kg deadlift challenges eddie hall and eddie hall accepts the challenge um eddie hall sh in my opinion should look at some videos of like mike tyson uh andy reese uh, especially andy reese versus anthony joshua one because it'll give him an idea of like how the smaller man can come in and uh, close the distance you know avoid the jabs and counter him and pushing like upwards right because of the height difference on the other hand i feel like half Thor should actually be watching the same fighters like and uh andy reese joshua the the fight but the second fight right because that's how anthony joshua was able to keep him off and uh just jab and use his distance use his agility i think half Thor is very nimble for his height especially if he's going to lose some weight He's gonna be a little bit faster as well uh, and we'll make an entertaining fight but then there's a component of like these guys are strong man right uh, and they might have that alpha mentality like I'm go in and just knock this person out in the first two or three rounds because maybe I'm not gonna last all like till six rounds I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a six round fight or maybe four round fight um, but uh, in that case Someone might get knocked out even though that you know they might not know how to drive all their power into the punches because it takes you know a lot of practice to do so they're still massive men and uh, throwing uh, punches that that at that weight is going to hurt no matter what so hopefully everybody stays safe after this fight I am predicting to that the half Thor will win just I think he has too much physical advantages and he is pretty quick from what I've seen uh, so giving him that advantage but uh, Eddie Hall has had some street fights in the past and with that mentality of like knowing like getting hit and you know hitting back he might have that experience of like going a little bit deeper in, in his heart and just wanting it more as well uh, he has a really strong uh, you know mentality as well both of them do to be able to break records and win world strongest man uh, at this point but 
Uh, I do like this. It's going to be an entertaining fight. Hopefully it happens. And everything, you know, they make the money. They get healthier by losing some weight. And just everybody prospers after this fight. 